and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my morning routine as a PhD student and all of the things that I do to really set myself up nicely for a pleasant day ahead. My focus at the moment is definitely more physical and mental well-being, and that's sort of what you'll see in this morning routine. So this is loosely, loosely, loosely based on Tim Ferriss. I would like to do more stuff around his routines because I do feel like he's really interesting, but also around other people's routines and trying out different routines. That's the type of content I really, really enjoy watching. So if you like that type of content and you feel that I should make more of them, give this video a thumbs up. That helps me know that I should do that and let me know in the comments below. Then I'll be knowing what you are wanting to see. The reason it's loosely inspired is because there's certain things that I just don't like to do in certain orders. So if I'm doing morning exercise, it pretty much has to be first thing in the morning or else I just won't do it. So I've just rearranged things a little bit for myself so that I'm more likely to follow it. Also, sorry that this video is sort of a mixture of sit down and sort of vlog style. The reason being when I went to film this morning, first of all, the quality of the visuals in my bedroom was just awful. Like you so pixely and grainy and just bad, really, really bad. And then my camera died, so that was a disaster. So I was filming all of these clips on my phone and the clips you'll see in this video are actually from my iPhone. But I didn't want to film any audio with my iPhone because the audio on my iPhone sucks and I have an actual microphone for my camera and I didn't have the little adapter thing that would allow it to go into my phone. So just a whole thing. So basically we're going to pretend like this is more vlog style than it really is. The reason I'm in my family home at the moment is because I'm minding Lola for a couple of days this week. So it's just where I'm doing my morning routine. So the first thing that I do is I am starting the day with a morning workout. Now what I do for that morning exercise really depends obviously day to day, but also week to week. I do like to follow the in the flow method where I will do exercise depending on what stage of the menstrual cycle I'm in. So at the moment I wanted to do something more sort of strength based or more resistance training based and that's really what I felt like doing. But I do have like other options if I was to be in the mood for something more cardio based or more energetic I would do probably an online workout using something like Pop Sugar Fitness on YouTube. They have some really good like cardio kickboxing. So the workout that I did this morning was one of Natasha Ocean's workouts from her home zero program just because I really don't have much equipment here in my family home at the moment. I would ideally like to go to the actual gym. Um, I do have a gym near here but I also have a really nice gym near where I now live that I have joined up and I'm really looking forward to going to but randomly in Ireland there's this massive storm today. You can probably sort of hear the stormy sounds in the background potentially but it meant it was absolutely impossible to go to the gym this morning, like just no way. The next thing that I do is I go and grab some breakfast. Tim Ferriss says that he has a light morning breakfast before having his workouts. So you can see I'm doing things a bit opposite. I would prefer personally to just do my workout on an empty stomach and then have breakfast. The reason because I tend to feel sick if I eat first thing and then do exercise, whereas there'll be other people who will feel the other way around. So just do whatever works best for you. So I typically like to do my workouts before moving on to breakfast. So this morning I'm just having a pretty simple smoothie and a bit of quiche that my mom picked up yesterday. And that is what I'm having. I'm trying to get out of the habit of watching TV in the morning. It's something that I've been doing, which is very naughty and I'm trying to get out of the habit. So what I was actually doing during this time was listening to a podcast and I was listening to one of the Getting Things Done podcasts. So that's sort of the second step of my morning routine. Do a bit of personal growth in terms of listening to some sort of audiobook or some sort of podcast, either around productivity or around, it could be around psychology, something along those lines. That is one of my goals for this month is to do that for around 30 minutes every day. I only did it for a few minutes today and my plan is to do a little bit more later but in the mornings I would typically be walking somewhere so either walking to and from the gym or walking to university or potentially walking home to my family house to visit Lola. So usually I would have a good walk around 30 minutes or so each morning that I would be able to fill that time with the productivity podcasts. Now this was a different story this morning so I only listened to it 
for a short while. And the next thing that I did then was I moved on to doing some meditation. Now, this might be where I lose a lot of you, but, and I can totally understand why, because I used to think that meditation was a lot of hooey. Um, whenever I would just look at people's routines and I hated looking at people's morning routines and seeing like mindfulness and journaling and all of that. I just didn't really gel well with it. And I've really, really changed my mind. So this was one thing with Tim Ferriss's routine, why I never really wanted to try it before was because he does things sort of the opposite way to me in the way that he starts his day straight away with some strong like green tea and other tea mix, um, meditation and journaling. And like to me, that's just not really ever been something I really wanted to do. But I have changed a lot recently in terms of how I feel about that. And uh, I've really been enjoying the mindfulness. You can see probably in this video, once or twice I do sort of lose the will to continue with it. I'm following on from a calm, the app calm sort of daily meditation. And the way it was going through this one was just that you do a body scan. So you go through the different parts of your body and just sort of try to like mentally release tension from them. And I did lose the concentration a few times and it's definitely something that you need to like build up the ability to do. I would have some base level of ability to do this because I did drama and acting from a really young age and our classes would always start with a five or 10 minute relaxation or mindfulness exercise. That meant that I was actually really well set up to do this kind of thing. And it's something that I would have used to do like twice a week in all of these classes from a long time growing up. And then once I stopped going to classes, once I sort of graduated, I just sort of stopped doing it mainly because I haven't been performing since then. I definitely feel like I should have been keeping it up. And it's something because I still teach speech and drama, I'll still lead people in these exercises, but I just don't really do them enough myself. So it's a big thing that I want to start doing more because once you really start to properly get into it and take it seriously, the level of calm that you can feel after doing these meditations is like nothing else. It's just this feeling in your head that I can't really describe where it just feels like everything is clear. And if you're somebody who is feeling very stressed or anxious or maybe you just have a lot of things on your mind, that little piece of clear mind is just so, so nice to experience. The last thing that I'm doing as part of this morning routine is journaling. Uh, journaling, doing some daily reflection. And again, oh, hello, little one. Hi, Lodi. Ah, the little thing, the little thing. And again, that's something that I would have always said was a load of crap, really, um, the whole idea of journaling, but Again, it's something that I've been really, really needing and doing well with recently. So if, it's sort of hard, like you can do things with sort of, I suppose a guiding sentence to get you started. And I know Tim Ferriss's sort of template is sort of gratitude and what would make today great. And then he does it at the end of the day as well. And yeah, that's not really, I'm not there with that yet. But what I do like doing at the moment is just sort of, trying to almost word vomit onto the page and do like a brain dump. So what I found this morning, I was actually doing a brain dump about journaling. So this is like an inception journal right here. I find it really hard to scan my thoughts and be aware of them. So that's something in sort of counseling that they'll often ask you like, what's your thinking around this? Or what are you thinking about that? And I find it really hard to understand what I'm thinking about stuff. I don't know if anybody else has had this experience, but I find it a lot easier to write things down and it will sort of be a natural way for me to explore feelings and thoughts. A number of times where I've written things down and just sort of like word vomited things and looked back at what I've written and been like, oh, uh, I didn't know that I thought that or felt that way. And I find that it also has been a really helpful way for me to explore different ideas and come up with different ideas. And um, one thing that I explored that just sort of came up from doing the mindfulness this morning was that I really do miss performing. I think it's because it came up, I think, because I would really associate that kind of mindfulness with acting classes. And so usually when I have something like that that comes up, a uh, sort of an idea like that, I will explore it a bit. So I did a bit of exploration around what could I do to get back into that. 
But other times what I've found is through the sort of exploration and writing process, just from word vomiting things out and doing sort of a sort of written exploration of things, I've also found it to be a really helpful way for me to get new ideas for projects and to explore potential PhD project ideas uh, for like smaller projects that will make up part of my PhD or paper ideas and gotten really far with them and th thought, wow, this has been a like five or 10 minute experience that has led me to have a really concrete plan now ahead of what I could do for my next project. So it's something, these are both things that I think have been, I suppose, a while in the process to get there. And I think I still have a, fa a far while to go before they're definite daily habits. But right now, they're definitely things I want to keep doing. And the last thing that I'll do as part of this morning routine is to just get myself ready. As you can see, I am changed. So I did get myself ready, but I didn't actually film any of that. So apologies. And just to tidy things up and make sure that everything is organized and reorganized before getting started with my work. So specifically, if I'm gonna be working in the office area, that I would do a little tidy up of that space. And that's something that I did here was just tidy up the space before getting started. And again, that's something that I've found with doing counseling. One of the things that we explored was what things do you like and what things do you like to see and what makes you feel good when you see them. And one of the things that I don't, didn't really think about much was that one of my favorite things to see in the morning is after I've done everything and I've gone and I've had my workout or, you know, been downstairs for breakfast, I love coming back up and seeing my office area just looking really well put together. And it's the same way throughout the day, it'll make me want to go there more once I know that it is set up that way. So that's just something that I'm trying to, again, incorporate into the morning routine so that I can have more of those feelings throughout the day. And yeah, so that is it for this morning routine. Do let me know what you think I might be missing as part of my morning routine down below. If you have a very different morning routine, I would love to hear it because I do love hearing about different people's morning routines. There's actually a really good book called Daily Rituals, I think, where it goes through lots of famous thinkers and artists and all of that, goes through their entire routine. And oh, I just really enjoy it. If you want me to explore other famous people's routines, I know I didn't really do this one with Tim Ferriss. I definitely would like to explore his routine more just because he is a crazy, crazy person uh, in terms of productivity. So I would definitely like to do that one more. But if you like this kind of content, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. That helps me know that you like this type of video and that I should make more of them. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks to all of my wonderful members and I will see you all in the next video. Mm -hmm.